Okay, so we have an equation. Okay, so this equation requires us to find the value of x. Okay, so this is the question that we have. So how do you go about finding the value of x given this kind of equation? Okay, so what we need to do is this. So we need to do this. Okay, so we have x uh, plus 1 over 2 minus x minus 3 over 3 uh, equals to 4. Okay, so what we can do here is just to multiply the entire thing with 6. Okay, so we can multiply the entire thing with 6. So what we can do is we can do this and just multiply by 6. Okay, so if we multiply this 6 here, multiplied by this fraction here, uh, uh, the, the, what we are just going to do is we are going to do this. We are going to say 2 into 6 goes in there 3 times. So we are going to multiply the 3 with the numerator. So it's going to be 3 x plus 1 uh, minus, here it's going to be 2 because 3 goes into the 6 2 times, so it's going to be uh, 2 uh, multiplied by x minus 3, which will equal to 4 times 6. So 4 times 6 will give us uh, 24. Okay, so you have simplified this to this level. What have we done? We have just multiplied with a, with a 6. Why did I pick 6? I picked 6 because a 2 can go into 6, a 3 can go into 6. So you need to look at the denominators that you have and find the common number that you can multiply with to get rid of these fractions. So we multiplied with the 6 to get rid of the what? The fractions. And so what we're going to do next now is to um, simplify this or open the brackets. So we're going to say 3 times x, this will give us 3x and that will give us 3 minus, that will give us 2x and that will give us plus 6, that should equal to 24. Now it's easy. So, uh, what you do here, you collect the like terms, okay? So, the like terms that we have is 3x and 2x, that should give us, a, so we're going to have 3x minus 2x plus 3 plus 6, that should give us 24. So, this here will give us x, because 3x minus 2x will give us x, so plus, here we'll get uh, 9, that should equal to 24, so x will equal to 24 minus 9. So what is 24 minus 9? Uh, quickly, let's find the answer. Um, so we know that the answer will be 15. Huh? Yeah, the answer will be 15. So therefore, this implies that x will equal to 15. So if you replace 15 where this x, you should be able to get uh, for that side. So we should be able to prove these equations. Maybe let's just, let me just try to, to prove it for you so that next time as you find um, the answer for the value for the, for the x, you can prove it into the equation and be able to see if the answer is correct. So let's try to prove it. So if I put 15 here, it's going to be 16. So that should be 16 over 2 minus, if I put 15 there, it's going to be 15 minus 3, that would be 12. So I have 12 over uh, 3. The answer should be 4 because that's what uh, it is actually equated to. So here I'll get 8 minus, here I'll get uh, 4. 8 minus 4, I'll get 4. So you can see that uh, gone are the days when you were coming out of the exam without proving if your equation was correct or not. Right now, you are able to prove and see if you have uh, found the correct answer. Moving out of the exam with that confidence that you need. Okay? Thank you very much for, for watching and follow for more.